Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Perlmutter from Quantum Listing, and welcome to our webinar, which is all about how to get your wants known and your listings shown. Uh, one of the most popular new quantum listing features from 2020 was the addition of the wants listings. And uh, because we're a marketplace, uh, we wanted to add the capability for our members to post their commercial real estate wants, uh, not just uh, what they have. And as we gave it more and more thought, uh, we realized that posting wants uh, is a great opportunity for our members who have listings also because uh, this way they can comb through the wants and see if any of the wants uh, matched up with their listings. And as we thought about it more, we thought, well, the more wants that we have, the better. So for quantum listing, you know, to post listings, uh, you, know, you have to be a premium member. Uh, but with wants, we just changed that so that uh, basic members uh, who are you know, basically can join our service for free can post their wants uh, because uh, for free and we did that because it really benefits our paying members so uh, we really wanted to make that uh, something that would be you know good for both sides of the marketplace so and not to take all the credit for ourselves, uh, it was one of our members that suggested that we open this feature up to all of our members. And our development team helped us put it into action. So uh, this week we were able to let it, uh, let it fly. And it is now live on our site and we're going to have a look at it today. And uh, we'll cover uh, our, agenda uh, first, uh, but first, if you don't know much about quantum listing, uh, quantum listing gives your listings maximum exposure by offering a range of features so you can market your properties without breaking your budget. And now you can market your wants also. Uh, you can post an unlimited number of listings with the ability to market them seamlessly on all forms of popular social media. Even better, there's no paywall for potential buyers or tenants to view properties on our site. Uh, so here is our agenda for today. Um, we're gonna cover how to post a want, and then how to search for wants, and how to promote and share wants. And we'll also take a look at our state haves and wants groups, and uh, talk a little bit about our haves and wants 2.0 online marketing sessions. So let's dive right in. And if you have any questions during the course of the webinar, uh, feel free to add them to the chat box or uh, at one point, we'll, a couple points will, uh, if you want, you can use your voice instead of uh, typing those questions. Uh, so as I was saying, quantum listing is not just a place for people to add listings. Uh, and, and search for listings as well. It's also a place for people to express what they're looking for. And there are many ways that you can get your word out on our site. And we added this other way, which is our wants feature. And now all of our members can add commercial real estate wants to your profile and they will show up in the search results. Not only will they show up in search results when you initially post them, they'll be on the first line of sorry, in the first uh, page of our listings. So as additional listings and wants are added, they'll slide down the page and onto the next one, uh, but they will have their moment in the sun on that first page. Uh, so uh, this is what a want looks like uh, when it's posted on Quantum Listing. Uh, and uh, we covered the information here, so this is just this is a uh, want search uh, here. So that's why you see six in a row there. Uh, and 
Just as you can promote your listings to the top of searches in your market, you can also promote your wants. Uh, so that means that when uh, the want will show up at the top of search results and it gets you know, as much exposure possible because of that. Uh, and you can also share your wants. Uh, you can do it via email. You can do it via LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. And you can even send out an e-blast of your want uh, as well. So, and by the way, I used our e-blast feature today for one of my own listings because if, I don't think I mentioned it today, but uh, in addition to having started Quantum Listing, uh, like you, I am a commercial real estate broker, and uh, you know, so everything that's on Quantum Listing is something that I use all the time in my practice. So I did send out an e-blast today for one of my listings to about 50 people, and I got a lead from it already. So. Uh, after the webinar is, it came in right before the webinar, so after the webinar is over, I'm going to follow up on that lead. Uh, so uh, the e-blasts are quite effective, and if you want to send out your own e-blast, uh, you can do it. Uh, if you want us to do it for you, uh, when you join Quantum Listing, you get one for free, and then you can buy packages of additional e-blasts uh, so that it goes out to our list. Uh, in addition to uh, being able to share it via social media and online marketing sessions, uh, you can, uh, sorry, and uh, email blasts, uh, occasionally we have online marketing sessions. Uh, and these were uh, particularly pop popular during the last year of COVID uh, when people couldn't really get together in the same room. But in some ways, uh, I think these are almost better uh, than the in-person ones because everybody can see the stuff that you're talking about. So these marketing sessions are similar to the ones you know where everybody's around at a big table and they're saying what they're what they are looking for or they're talking about one of their listings. Uh, yeah, but as I was saying, the advantage is that you're able to share screens so you can show the listings being discussed and no trees die uh, for that. And it's, it's a really very efficient and, and networking with your peers is also part of this because everybody gets a chance to introduce themselves, uh, talk about the markets that they work in, what their specialties are. And these marketing sessions, Typically, well, because they're nationwide, we we'll usually focus on a single asset class. We have collaborated with various uh, uh, commercial real estate associations to help them do these marketing sessions also. So if you're involved in your uh, state or community realtor association, uh, we would be very happy to talk to you about uh, you know, doing that with your group. And the nice thing about these is if people miss them, they're recorded so they can watch them later. And even if you are there, sometimes you, uh, you know, may have to take a call or whatever so you can catch up on anything that you've missed. So uh, these are really a great resource for the industry and we hope that you'll participate in them sometime soon. Uh, then another way that uh, your wants and also your haves uh, can be shared via quantum listing is by posting in your state haves and wants group. And we also have um, asset class groups, so uh, you could post it in there. And not only can you just write a text message about it, but you can include a hyperlink to your listing so that people uh, know exactly what you're talking about. They can see it for themselves. And uh, when you do post in your state haves and wants group, at the end of the day, a email will go out to all the members of your group saying there's a message waiting for them and encouraging them to go see it. And hopefully that'll generate some good interest for you. So you don't even have to create uh, a mailing list for this. Uh, 
it's automatically going out to the people who are members in quantum listing uh, in that particular market. Uh, so a little premature for the Q&A, but actually not. Uh, does anybody have any questions right now before uh, we go on to the live demo? Uh, you can unmute yourself if you want or put it in the chart. At chat, I see there is a message in the chat. What does that say? That uh, says, oh, uh, it's from Julia, our customer success advocate, and says, uh, and distance and travel are not a limit if you're appearing in, if you're participating in a uh, state, uh, in a uh, has and wants 2.0 marketing session. Hmm. We've had people from all over the country participate in them at the same time. And we send out the listing report afterwards, so everyone gets to see your listing again. It's true. Thanks. All right. So right now. Uh, we're going to go, I'm going to go to my profile for my brokerage business here. And you do that by clicking on the icon in the top right corner. It looks like a head and shoulders. And if you're adding a listing, uh, you know, just a, and you're not syndicating from Sharp Launch or Real Next or Build Out to Us, uh, if you're adding a listing manually, you would typically just click the plus sign and start creating your listing there. Uh, now the process for uh, adding a wants listing is similar, but it's in some ways even easier. So you go on the left hand side uh, to the menu and you click on where it says wants and click on wants again there. And uh, then uh, you just uh, when you're adding a listing, you click on the green plus sign, and this will open up a new window for you to create your want. Now, uh, if you can add your own images here if you want, however, uh, if you don't add your own image, you get that default wanted sign that you saw uh, earlier. So. If you are a enterprise account and have multiple agents, you can add one or more people for whom the want is uh, applying to. In this case, uh, I'll just pick myself here. Then you can add, a, then you have to add a title, anything with a red asterisk next to it, and maybe I can uh, blow up the size of my screen a little bit. Anything with a red asterisk is something that you have to add. So uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, uh, I just got a new lead, a thousand square feet of office space in Ardsley, New York. Okay, and this is a lease and it is office. If you want, you can add a, uh, secondary asset type as well. You can see we have a fairly robust list of asset classes that you can choose from. Uh, and if the transaction is a sale, by the way, instead of having rent, uh, you can see that it switches to price there. But in this case, we have a lease. So this guy is looking for about a thousand square feet. And if you don't want to uh, put the size, you can put zero. And when you save it, it shows up as inquire. Uh, same with the rent. And then the date needed is another parameter you need to do. So click on that. It opens up the calendar. Uh, this guy wants it as soon as possible. And he wants to be in Ardsley, New York. So you start typing that in and select it from the drop down menu. Uh, a, uh, so it's a plumbing company is looking for a new regional office. Uh, their uh, space requirement is for an open plan office. They want it as soon as possible. 
All right, so that gives people a little idea of some of the basics there. Uh, so then as I go down the list here, I can choose to promote this one. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but perhaps I'll do that later. Uh, and uh, Will Cobrook. So promoting this one, again, makes it show up at the top of searches in your market. You know what? I'm going to promote it. Let's go there. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Uh, all right. So the things I had to add were the title, the transaction type, the asset type, rent, which you can leave as zero, the square feet wanted, uh, which you could type in zero and it shows up as inquire just, and then additional parameters, you can add uh, a URL if you want, not necessarily applicable to a want, uh, if there's any special parking needs or number of offices, you know, bathroom, you could maybe say that you want a in-suite bathroom, uh, if you're looking for a building that has EV charging, you could put that there as well. Uh, so those are the different types of things that you can also add. These are the additional parameters are all optional. All right, so let's save it. And all right, so the listing has been saved. And because I said that I wanted to promote it, uh, a new window is going to open up and I'm going to promote my listing. I'm going to click that right there and I'm going to, you have a choice of promoting it for a week or a month. Uh, we don't do it for any longer than that because we hope by then your transaction will be well underway. Uh, and so let's click create order. It brings you to PayPal. And let's see. So it is seven and a half dollars right there. And I'm going to click continue. So You're all set, David, if you, uh, I, I confirmed it. Okay, very good. So Julia is giving me uh, a if you're watching today and you post a want, uh, we will you know get in touch with us. Let us know you posted the want, and we will promote it for you. Uh, so we can at least do that for you for giving us a little bit of your time. All right. So now let's go uh, back to my profile and. You don't see it here on your listings. However, you will see it when you click on wants there in the sidebar. And here is my new want. And I'm clicking on that and I can see. So it looks just like I expected it to. Uh, other things that you can do, if you're going through the site and you see somebody else's want and you want to save it for later, you can click on the click to add the want to save listings there, and you'll be able to find that in the info section. Uh, you can create an iframe and post your wants on your website if you want. Uh, you can make a private note and uh, say, you're going to say new lead from uh, 518.21. All right. And if you wanted to create a report of this uh, and any other wants, you could click the plus and you'll be able to find your listing report in your on the info section of the site as well. Or you can also click on the red ribbon here. And I'll show uh, your want there. And as we zoom out, you can see uh, a little bit of Ardsley, New York there. And if you want, you can download that into a PDF or email it, or also create an iframe for your website. 
there as well. And there you have it. So uh, now let's go look at the listing feed and have a look there. So you can see just as I promised you, it would show up, it does show up on uh, the listing feed and it shows up at the top until another listing comes to replace it. And if I wanted to save this to my favorites, I can also click that ribbon there. Uh, these other dots here allow me to export it to a PDF or uh, it says delete from listing report because it's, I've already added to a listing report. And, uh, but otherwise, you know, I'll click delete from listing report now so you can see uh, that you can also add it to a listing report uh, there as well. So, all right. And looks like I've been getting some notifications up here in the top right, which you may have noticed. So let's have a look and see what those notifications are. So it's telling my listing was added to a report by Perlmutter Properties. So I, uh, I guess it's all about the activities that you just saw me uh, taking right there. Oh, and here's that new lead that I got uh, earlier today. Very exciting. I can't wait to follow up on that. Uh, and so that shows you uh, how to add a listing, I uh, said so a wants listing, and how you can send it out. So let's go uh, just to show you now um, how to share it to social media. So here's my new want, and I'm going to click on it. And there's uh, here. So apparently this has already gotten 20 views, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and to share it, I'm going to click on this red dot here. And so if I wanted to email it, I'm going to send an email to Julia at quantumlisting.com. And my new want, uh, I'm going to call it my new requirement here. And I'm going to make it my new tenant requirement. There you go. See, uh, click on the link below. And let me know if you have anything for them. Okay, so now I'm going to click send, and so that way. Now, when you're sending it by email, in that case, I just sent it to Julia. I could send it to a few people if I wanted by putting a comma between each email address, or if I wanted to send it out to a group of people, I can click this add file button and then browse my computer for a CSV or Excel file. And the file just needs to have one column with email addresses. And then you add your subject and message and hit uh, send. And you know, then basically you're crowdsourcing your requirement uh, to your colleagues that you want to share that requirement with. So really easy and included with your premium membership. Now the email blasting, uh, you actually do have to be a uh, premium member, a basic member, I don't believe would be able to do that. But you certainly would be able to send it out to one or two or three or four people uh, by doing that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could change, I could I say I wanted to share this to my LinkedIn. I'll go, uh, hold on a second. Okay. 
after I got it right this time. All right, so here I'm going to share in a post. Uh, and what I'm going to say, I have a new office requirement for Ardsley. Click the image below and let me know if you have anything that matches up. And then LinkedIn gives you all these uh, great hashtag uh, suggestions that you can add. So perhaps you'll increase your uh, the reach of your message uh, by doing that. And then you click post. And let's have a look at it. And there it is. So you can see a really fast, really easy. And um, it was, and then you can, I guess, share it with people on LinkedIn if you want to tag, uh, you know, the brokers and agents that you know on LinkedIn, or maybe you've created a uh, group of some kind that you can share it to, and then you can, you know, like, comment, anything else you would do on uh, LinkedIn with your uh Post. So let me uh, stop once again and ask uh, if there are any questions, and I can show you uh, while we're waiting for any questions. Uh, you know, the process for Twitter, uh, very similar, uh, except I don't remember my uh, password here, apparently. So <laughs> we'll, we'll skip that part, but uh, if you did know your password, and then what you do uh, so just, um, again, super, super easy. Sorry, I have a little bit of background noise, but I, um, if people are okay with it, I did send you, David, the email addresses of people on the call. If you want to send them the email and they can see what it looks like. Okay. Where would I find these email addresses, Julia? Oh, uh, in the private chat. Uh, okay. Actually, uh, there it is. Okay, great. Okay. All right, so let's do that. And all right, looks good. Now. It looks like Ron is in DC and Sue I know is in California, so perhaps you won't actually have anything, uh, but um, you'll get the, the point and you'll get to see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, all right, so that will be in your inbox waiting for you when you next go and check your email. All right, let's see if I have forgotten anything. All right, uh, let's, um, all right, so the haves and wants marketing sessions. If you wanna see what they're like, you can go to our webinar uh, page here. I know we do have a video of some of our marketing sessions uh, that you can check out there. Um, oh, I know what I haven't done yet. I haven't shown you how to share a want to your group. Let's do that. So I'm going back to my profile page and I'm going to get the URL for my new want. And I'm clicking on that. And here we go. Click on that. And then up at the top of the page, I am going to click on that and copy it. And now I'm going to go to my Westchester group that I started. And if you have colleagues who are on quantum listing and you want to be able to use the groups to chat with them and share your listings and you know, you know sort of stay abreast of what's happening in your market, uh, you can start your own group really easily. I would encourage you to do that. Uh, so I'm going to my groups here. So I clicked on groups and then the 
menu open up and uh, now I'm going to click Westchester area of brokers and owners and uh, here's a list of here's a bunch of, of, of the brokers so what I want to do uh, with this group right now is I want to start a chart so this is just going to show you who all the different members are if you did what I just did there Hang on, but okay so what I really should have done is click the chat icon uh, here so I'm going to enter the group chat and here I'm going to type my message uh, I have a new requirement for a 1,000 SF user in Ardsley. Please let me know if you have anything for them. They want it as soon as possible. Here, more info. Uh, let's click the link for more info. All right, and I'm hitting send or enter, and uh, here's my message. And if uh, I click on the link, it will now open up uh, that one and. This message, even though because I'm logged in, when I open up that listing, it is showing. Uh, nobody else is going to be able to see that uh, message. It is a private message. And if I wanted to delete this from the listing report, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do that uh, by clicking the X here. All right. So This is uh, you know, very simple and, uh, and effective. So, and people, when they're looking at your want listing, uh, there's going to be a uh, date up here when the listing was last updated. So you know, this way they'll know whether it's a fresh lead or not. Um, and it, oh, when you're, Let's talk about what you should do once your requirement has been filled. Uh, so I'm going to go back to uh, the listings for the wants rather, and I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so say this listing is now, um, taken care of this requirement has been fulfilled close the deal or at least gone to lease i can archive it and and we encourage you to archive these rather than delete them uh, because say your deal blew up in the middle uh, you can then reactivate that and it will show up again plus your any private notes that you've kept uh, on that want or and the same holds true for your listings it will always be accessible to you uh, so I recommend archiving rather than deleting uh, alternately you can unpublish things uh, that way it'll still show up in this feed rather than in your archive um, it's really a matter of personal preference uh, and let's see I think I'm going to open up the floor once again to questions and let me know. Uh, uh, we love answering questions. And if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, uh, please let me know. Um, so uh, thanks for the compliment, Sue Horowitz, who says nice feature. Uh, well, we always uh, love having you on our webinars, Sue, and uh, we're glad that you like it and we hope you'll take advantage of it you know another thing if you do have a listing uh, and you want to get a little creative with how to use wants so say you're you have a preschool in Los Angeles that you're trying to market um, you could put a wanted 
listing out there for the type of tenant or buyer that you're looking to attract. Um, so, you know, it's giving yourself a, like a little mother uh, bite at the apple and, and trying to find uh, a good lead for your property. So we encourage you to, you know, be creative with this. One of the nice things about quantum listing is that uh, you um, can have an unlimited number of listings and it doesn't cost any more than your $89.99 a year. Uh, again, you, know, if, you, know, you can post wanted for free, uh, but actual listings of real estate, we do uh, require you to be premium members for $89.99 a year. Uh, so let me go back uh, one second. Right, wrong way. There we go. Uh, to our little slide deck and see if I missed anything. I did. Apparently, uh, we're up to our pricing uh, section. So if you're not a member and you want to join, uh, as I said, it's $89.99 a year for unlimited listings. To be a basic member, to only post once or to be able to save other people's listings and things like that and take those private notes. Uh, basic membership is uh, free. Uh, if you're promoting listings like we did with that, um, oh, you know what? I didn't show you. Uh, hang on. That's the one thing I knew I forgot something. All right. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to have a promoted listing. Okay. So, uh, you know what? I think we found a glitch. All right, we're gonna have to make sure the either that or maybe it just didn't get um, uh, saved on the admin panel. Anyway, so where you see this uh, tile right here, that's where the wanted listing would be. And one of the first, depending on how many uh, listings there are in that marketplace. Uh, oh, and the other thing I didn't remember to show you, boy, I'm uh, I'm slipping here. Uh, is how to search for wants. Uh, okay, so to do that, you're going to go to the search filter and look for the deal type and click on wants and click apply filters. And there you are. So you're gonna see all the different wanted from all of our different members. And uh, this way you can go through it and see if anything matches up uh, with what you have. So, uh, all right. So I think I haven't forgotten anything else. And you can narrow it down you know, by your state, your town, uh, county, however you like to search. Uh, so please do that. Uh, I think we really got it. Uh, so thank you everybody for your time. And uh, we'll see you on our next webinar. And uh, Julia, thank you for all your help in putting this together today. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.